What we have here is ambulance service in the bush. This man was walking to his garden, carrying his bush knife, like they do, when he slipped and cut his Achilles tendon. Some men found him and carried him back to his village. They made a homemade stretcher to carry him to the Pangia Hausik, or hospital, an hour walk away. A priest came by, stopped, and said, Well, you're almost to the hospital, and besides, I don't want to get my truck bloody. So he left. Chad and Kirsten were on their way home from a meeting, stopped, saw the situation, and offered to carry him the remaining 45 minutes that it would have taken them to walk. They arrive at the Pangia Hospital, or Hausik as we call it. They carry him to one of the rooms, and as you can see, there is no upkeep and does not meet any hospital standard in America, on the outside or the inside. <laughs> The nurse here is taking off the blood-soaked bandage, getting it ready for when the doctor comes. They've sent someone to go find him. The nurse has a willing helper, but she tells him to put on some gloves. Notice he doesn't wash his hands. He's being carried to the operating theater where the doctor will tend to him. The nurse had a hard time finding his vein. There was no surgical tubing available to tighten his arm with, so they just squeezed as hard as they could until she finally got the vein. The doctor arrives and he's cleaning the wound. <laughs> These instruments were in the sink, perhaps washed but not sterilized. There was also rat droppings in the sink. 
He's going to sew up the cut, but the tendon will remain detached. Chad went to see Ungape at his home. He now walks with a stick and his foot drags. Because of this, he is unable to make the trek down the rough, narrow path to his garden. His wife died some years ago in childbearing, so he is solely dependent on his friends to bring him food and firewood. Chad spent some time talking to him about his soul, and we pray that this accident will be used to bring him to Christ. Ungape started his day like any other day, going to his garden. Proverbs 27.1 says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth.